Hello, welcome back to my channel. I know it's looking very different. I'm not in my home in Dubai. We are currently in Lebanon and we came here to enjoy the summer, to spend the summer with the kids and the family. So yes, I'm enjoying my summer a lot. And I know I haven't been posting a lot, but I'm planning to keep on creating content from here and to just take you along with me everywhere I go, guys. Today's video is going to be on my current summer skincare routine. This is gonna be my daytime edition. I try to keep my skincare routine very concise, very simple, um, yet effective. I choose those products and those formulations that will work the best with my skin. And just overall, I just keep a very easy, quick routine that is effective, that protects my skin, and that it gives me the best results I can get. Just to give you a little bit of background, my skin is the normal sensitive skin. As you may know, um, your skin doesn't remain the same throughout the whole year. It changes with the seasons and during summer sometimes my skin tends to get a little bit more towards the combination side. I'm always switching up um, the products that I use because I'm always testing and trying new formulations, new products that come out in the market so I can of course review them for you guys and I advise you on them. But the steps I follow are always the same. I keep my routine very basic. So during summer, I try to focus on using products that have a more lightweight consistency and concentrate it into protecting my skin from the UV rays and keep it hydrated. I start out by cleansing my skin and I always do this with a gentle cleanser. This is from Simple. It's the moisturizing facial wash. It is very hydrating. It doesn't streak out my skin. On the contrary, it just fills my skin feeling suppled and moisturized. And it just does a very good job at removing any excess oils or makeup residues. So after cleansing my skin, I go straight to my serums and if you've been following for a while, you know that I'm a huge fan of the vitamin C and the hyaluronic acid. Um, these two ingredients for me are a must-have on your skincare regime. I think these are ingredients that everyone should be including when taking care of their skin. Um, they just have so many benefits and I find that it is super important to just apply them topically. By vitamin C being a rich antioxidant, what it actually does is to protect your skin from free radicals, which are the main cause of aging in the cells of your skin. So vitamin C is actually a great thing to wear, especially when you're exposed to the sun. Because it is a natural exfoliant, I know that many people are quite skeptical or afraid of using vitamin C during the summer but I think that if you're very diligent like I am um, on your use of SPF daily I don't think that you're gonna face any problem on the contrary vitamin C and SPF they put in the efficacy on each other it produces hyperpigmentation it helps out with blemishes it stimulates the collagen production which reduces fine lines and it brightens your skin. What I love about vitamin C as well is that it just gives your skin a super glow and yeah, it's a must-have product in my skincare. I've been using this vitamin C from Beachy. It's called the Lift Active. It's a brightening skin corrector serum and this product contains 15% ascorbic acid which is the most effective vitamin C form known in the market until now and it has hyaluronic acid and vitamin E in it. It comes with a dropper like this so I just use just a few drops on my skin. Just Wrap them, pat them all over. It is a very liquidy formula, so it is easily absorbed into the skin. Um, and it kind of like leaves my skin a little bit of a tacky feeling on it. And this is because of the hyaluronic acid. After that, I've shown this to you many times before. This is one of my favorite hyaluronic acid serums in the market at the moment. This is 
the Fishy um, Fortifying and Plumping Daily Booster. It's called the Mineral 89. It's great for sensitive skin because by being a substance that is already in the human body, it's not gonna produce any shock or any reaction. So then I go just apply kind of like a pump and a half of this serum all over my face. And I even go underneath my eyes, especially where the cross feet start appearing. I kind of like concentrate it on those areas when I'm starting to see those expression fine lines forming and as well I take it all over down to my neck and chest. So after that I'm gonna go in with my eye cream. I'm switching up between these two. This one is from a laboratory. It's called the Fresiderm Eye Balm and this is great for puffiness and dark circles so it's great for daytime. And then I have my MAC Light Book C. This is a vitamin C eye cream. This is fantastic. It also has a brightening effect, so it helps out with diminishing those dark circles and eye puffiness. So I'm just gonna apply this today. Um, just a small bump. Don't forget to use your ring finger. It's the most delicate um, finger we have so it does apply the less amount of pressure on the eye area which is so delicate so just be gentle usually what i do is i tap my eye cream don't forget to go around your eye area just dab it be gentle and don't forget your eyelids. Okay, so after my eye cream, I go in with my moisturizer. What I'm using right now is this Clinique ID Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. This is a gel, and this is the antioxidant version of it. And the reason why I love this product is because it is very refreshing on the skin. It is hydrating enough. It has a good amount of antioxidants and it just doesn't feel heavy, especially if you're gonna be wearing it before makeup application. And to finish up with my summer skincare routine, it couldn't be complete if I don't wear my SPF. And of course, I always wear SPS 50 plus. And I love this product from Userine. This is the SPF 50 oil control. It's a sun gel cream. It has a gel texture. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It doesn't leave any white cast. It is super lightweight and it protects your skin amazingly well. It's super gentle as well. It's not irritating on the skin like other SPFs. So I even take it underneath my eyes. And I have sensitive skin and I never had any issues. Down my neck, chest, and whatever is left always on the back of my hands. Um, don't forget your hands. My mom always says, if you wanna know that person's age, just look at their hands. And it's so true because we tend to forget about them and this is the first part of your body when you start showing your signs of aging, so don't forget them. So that's it for my skincare routine for the summer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.